Okay, we're back to vocation now um, with the, with the, another one that I got direct from the brewery. It's a collaboration with Loafers, um, and it is their Living the Dream DDH Pale, 5.2% ABV. Um, it's hazy, it's hoppy, it's soft, apparently. It's got Amarillo and Citra. Um, it's telling me something about the smells and tastes that we get from it, but I will, I will judge that for myself. Um, it says, this easygoing double-dropped hop... This, Double dropped. This easygoing, double dry hopped pale ale with a pillow soft finish is the perfect beer to enjoy the chilled out vibes that Loafers Vinyl and Coffee is known for. Good music, good vibes, and good brews. Now we are really living the dream. And there's a guy there, totally living the dream with a keg on it over his head. Um, anyway, so let's have a see. Let's have a see what this is like. Now, I'll crack it open. Um, let's let's get it in the glass. We're doing the old craft master glass today. Oh, it's very light in colour. Um, let's have a see. Let's go to about there. It gets yeah. So there we are. Is that uh, facing? That is facing. And we have got a very light colour, semi kind of semi hazy. It's uh, it's kind of hazy, but you can see through it. Um, yeah, it's got a decent head on it. Nice and fluffy. Um, so I've seen one to two finger, but again, heads always depend on the kind of glass you're pouring them into. This this glass gives you quite a big head anyway. Um, let's give it a swill. Let's have a see what it is um, smelling like. So it's quite tropical. I'm getting a bit of pineapple in there. A little bit um, like orange peel. Bit of tangerine. Yeah, it smells smells all right. What else are we getting there? A little bit soapy in the smell. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I have to see what happens with the taste. A little bit pithy. Let's uh, let's go in for the old taste, eh? Cheers. So it's quite a light, sweet mouthfeel. Um, quite a bit of fruit there. Yeah, I mean it's um, yeah a little bit of uh, I say it's quite citrusy. Um, get a bit, a bit of lemon there. Bit of pineapple, a bit of grapefruit. Um, I'd say it's quite light, quite tropical. It's a little bit creamy, low bitterness. It's got quite a soft mouthfeel. Let's top it up a bit. Um, yeah, I mean. What can I say? It's inoffensive, but a little bit unremarkable. It's um, it's okay. It's okay. It's pleasant enough. It's nothing special about it. Um, I did prefer the folklore from the vocation over this one. Um, it's just, just kind of like an easygoing pale, really. It's an easygoing pale, it's quite fruity, it's a bit sweet, there's not a lot in the line of bitterness. It's fairly soft mouthfeel. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's uh, it's nothing to write home about, it's not knocking my socks off. I think it's about uh, two pound eighty five, something like that, possibly three quid. So it wasn't dear. Um, and you know what can I say? It's uh, you're certainly getting what you pay for there. It's it's a decent it's a decent beer. It's five point two percent. It's uh, I don't know. It's it's all right. It's okay. It's an okay beer. That is my official um, opinion on it. It's an okay beer. It's not bad for the price.
there's a lot better out there even at that um that alcohol point um yeah there you go so that's it it's okay it's fairly decent until next time have a good one